Gilead Crisis COVID-19 Drug Remdesivir at $2,340 per patient in developed nation. Uh, report by Michael Ehrman, Ludwig Berger, and Manojan uh, Malak Debata, the writers, June 29, 2020, uh, from Yahoo Finance. Gilead Science Incorporated on Monday priced its COVID-19 antiviral remdesivir at $2,340 per patient for wealthier nations and agreed to send nearly all of the supply to the, of the drug to the United States over the next three months. The price tag is slightly below the range of $2,500 and 20 $2,500 and uh, all the way up to $2,800, suggesting last week by U.S. Drug Pricing Research Group, the Institute for Clinical and Economic Review, I sir, as the Britishers, Brit British researchers said they found that the cheap, widely available steroid dexamethasone significantly reduces mortality among severely ill COVID-19 patients. Remdesivir is expected to be in high demand as one of the only treatments so far shown to alter the course of COVID-19. After the intravenously administered medicine helped shorten hospital recovery times in a clinical trial, it won emergency use authorization in the United States and full approval in Japan. The drug is believed to be most effective in treating patients earlier in the course of the disease rather than dexamethasone, which reduced deaths in patients requiring supportive oxygen and those on the vent layer. Still, remdesivir in its current formulation is only being used in patients sick enough to require hospitalization after five-day treatment course. The company is developing an inhaled version that could be used outside a hospital setting. For years, patients with commercial insurance said it will charge $3,120 per course or $520 per vial. That's a 33% increase over the $390 per vial. Gilead said it would charge governments of developed countries and U.S. patients in government health care programs. In an open letter, Gilead Chief Executive Daniel Day said the price is well below the value it provides given that Hospital discharges could save around $12,000 per patient in the United States. Patient advocates have argued that the cost should be lower since remdesivir was developed with financial support from the U.S. government. U.S. Representative Lloyd Doggett, a Democrat from Texas, said it was outrageous, an outrageous price for a very modest drug with taxpayer funding saved it from the scrap heap of failures. Remdesivir had previously failed as an Ebola treatment and has not shown that it can reduce COVID-19 deaths. Gilead also said it agreed to continue to send most of its support of Remdesivir to the U.S. Department of Health and Services, HSS, with the agency and state set to manage allocation to U.S. hospitals until the end of September. There are currently more cases of COVID-19 in the United States than in Europe, with several U U.S. states hitting new records for the number of cases. HSS has also been distributing the drug since May and was due to run out after this week. A senior HSS official said that the agency expects the drug will soon be a scarce resource, and so it wants to remain involved in allocating it. The agency said it secured more than five million, well, actually half a million severe courses for U.S. hospitals through to December. That represents all the Gilead's projected production for July and 9% of its production for August and September. In addition to allegation, uh, no, uh, so pardon me, in addition to an allocation for clinical trials, which is as said. When supplies are less constrained, HSS will stop managing the allocations. Uh, Gilead said the company did not discuss the supply strategy for developed nations outside the United States. 
When the Jews twice has been talked to the intense debate, Exodus said Gilead would need to avoid appearing to take advantage of how prices for profits. Gilead shares were about flat m on Monday. Analysts for Royal Bank of Canada forecast drugs could generate $2.2 billion in revenue in 2020, helping to offset more than a half billion, well, $1 billion in development and distribution costs. They said additional profits could be limited because drugs need a better treatments are on the horizon. The European Union the health, health Care Regulator said last week recommended initial approval of drugs when you treat it for ill. Gilead has linked up with genetic drug makers based on in India and Pakistan, including Cipla Limited and Hetero Labs Limited to make a supply of remdesivir in 137 developing nations. Uh, Supplies version is priced less than five thousand Indian rupees, which is six six dollars twenty four cents in US dollars. While Hotel Labs version is priced at fifty four hundred dollars, fifty hundred hundred rupees. Pardon me, uh, which is seventy one dollars fifty four cents in American currency. And there you have it. A pretty good drug. Uh, not anyway. Gotta go. Bye.